Welcome to Max's Garage Mahal. Today we're going to talk about these heart gel infused pro stabilizing knee pads. Now, the reason why we're going to talk about these is I just come out from underneath the old Gray Gables over there next to the Max's Garage Mahal, and these things worked really well. Just picked them up at um, Walmart yesterday, and um, I didn't really want to use my hundred dollar pads which by the way I just found out today that even though they were a gift bought by my money somebody here paid a hundred dollars for me a set of knee pads and they're identical to these right here and let me get you some light on in here you can't see that as well as you'd like to my apologies I was in a hurry to shoot this thing and I should have done had all this on but now let's see if you can see this better Okay, you see those really well. Back side, they have two straps. This one, this wide one, goes around the calf. It's got a really wide contact surface for the <laughs> for the Velcro here. I mean, and that sucker, look, you can tighten it up on your leg. I think you could cut the blood supply off. <laughs> Anyway, really works well. And then I like this little feature right here that it has a rubber type, really good <laughs> catch right here. And this slides onto this stud right. I'm trying to get where you can see under it and all that. Can you see that under there? Right here? Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to see what you see. There it is right there. Okay, so that slides on here like this. And it's got a little bit of a preload to it to keep it from popping off, which is really neat. And just so you can see that I am the one that wore these, you see it's dirty. You can see the pads are dirty. And by the way, let's see, let me get this right here. You see the skin in there? That's my Thiel's, if whatever those called, skin. And uh, I wanted to see if these things were as comfortable as they say they are. So I did this with bare legs. Now I wasn't naked because nobody wants to see me naked, especially me. So I put these on without anything between me and them. And there you go, right there, guys. Let's see if you can see that. See that, that skin? Now I was scrubbing my knees down through there. I went 140 foot underneath that house one direct, diagonally. And uh, I got a little bit dirty. Now that's not all skin. So much is plain old dirt. And uh, these things were a lot more comfortable than I thought they'd be. And I, that's the reason why I'm telling you about them. And again, $24.99 I think is what I paid for them at the Walmart Superstore here in Searcy on Ray Street, and um, for no other reason. And I, I'm gonna give you some other uses for these things. Will these improve your married life? I don't know if they will or not. But hey, if you have to crawl around the house and and uh, beg for food, or or you know, if you're not the alpha male like I am, and everyone knows I'm the alpha male, because you know, everyone does what I tell them at my house. Usually I'm the only one there, but that's okay because I don't have to put up no back talk, and you might not have to either with these right here. Wait a minute, you'd be the one doing the back talk. Well, anyway, these are pretty good little items right here. You might want to get you some of those. So uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. Don't know what it would have been, but if you're looking for a knee pad, you don't want to spend, you know, you want to spend more than $10 or $12 to get one that really doesn't bite into your leg when you're crawling around on it. Hey, let me do something. Let me stop real quick. Let me show you my old ones and then show you the ones I don't use anywhere but in the house on the hardwood. And I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We brought the old ones to you. These things were bench top. You can use these on any kind of service. Nails. Well, maybe not lava. Coal lava, maybe. But you can use these things pretty much anywhere. And if you look at these real closely, you'll see just how worn these things are. And I've even worn flat spots in them. I mean, these things have done a lot. 
Now, let, I don't want you to think that I slide around on my knees a lot. I don't do that because, you know, I am getting old. See my teeth? See how long they are? I'm getting old and long the tooth. But these things have really been used, and uh, I tried getting under the house with them. No bueno. So I had to replace them. I had to dig these out of the trash just a minute ago. I like never found them, had no idea they'd already made it into the trash, and we're down about this far in the can. So uh, just wanted you to see what I used to use. These things were very uncomfortable. See this cup right here? The, and I had two pair of these. And I always kept a second pair in case someone was one of my helpers. The only difference between this and the other pair, um, this is the ones that the helpers usually use. I don't know where the ones are that I use, probably over in one of them drawers. But, um, and these got used pretty hard, like I said. But these were slightly more oval. The other one's a little bit rounder. But here's the problem. These things, and I always hated these suckers, even though it was nice to have that extra hard shell. This sucker right here, as it would ride up on your leg, and it always did. Um, I'm sorry, ride down your leg. This would capture right below your kneecap and cut into your shin. Man, that did not feel good. And you'd pull them up, well, as the straps stretched, and as the Velcro no longer would catch over here, uh, they really become pretty much worthless. So that's when I decided it was time to get a new pair of knee pads, which were these. Now I told you about the ones that I only use inside on really nice hardwood floors where I don't scuffed and scratched and all that. And that's this pair of puppies here. Now we've had these, I think I've had these since 2008 or something like that. Maybe a little earlier when I was doing some floors in the old house. And uh, let's see. Yeah, about that. Maybe old six. And I didn't know it at the time. These were a gift around Christmas time. And somebody in my household paid a hundred bucks for these things around, what is that, 15 years ago? Mmm. That's a lot of money then. Now these were really comfortable. Now the these also had a flaw with a single strap. It's a dual on one side and it comes over and it's supposed to go across your calf and hold these things up. But they always, if you got them up on top of your calf where this went over the top of your calf, these things would stick up above your leg and as you walk, they would do that. <laughs> and when you're on the on the floor, you had to keep moving your leg your kneecap up into this pocket in order to put your weight directly on top of this pad and even though I thought I was loved with them all these years no more than I actually use them um, these AWP brand which is what it says right there I don't know who makes those it says uh, awp-gear.com on the back but I really thought I loved these things the difference as I showed you earlier is you have the strap over the calf that you can bring the top of the calf and you can bring this up above the knee with this really nice little lock right here and you can adjust this as tight as you want it again I don't think you want to cut off the blood pressure but I know this is a really long review for a knee pad give these things an ideal I mean if, if you think about a knee pad later so with that said hopefully you got something out of this so you give me a like and if you haven't already, please subscribe and share these videos so other companies can see what we're doing here and letting them, letting you know what their products are doing for me. So hopefully they'll do the same for you. And uh, we've got more companies coming aboard, thank goodness. And uh, I want to do a real quick announcement. There is going to be a Foxpeed. And I know you've seen this box over in that corner for a year and a half now, close to two years. A Foxpeed brand jump starter giveaway. Now, there's only going to be one of these. And I want to thank Foxpeed. They appreciate that I always keep their product in, my, in the front of my videos. And the reason why I do that, these things now officially, last week, that got me out of trouble twice in the same day. Two times in the same day. And it got me out of trouble a year and a half ago when I first got it. 
And um, this thing had a full charge after all that time, 100% charge. I bought another one because I like them so much to put in another vehicle. So anyway, Fox Speed is going to give away through Max's Garage Mahal video channel one of their G29 2500 amp 21,000 milliamp jump starters. It's a power supply. Um, it also has an adapter that you can hook in a battery plug to it. I mean, it's really a nice tool. And uh, doesn't cost you a thing. I'll put all the rules down below in the description. So if you like this and you really would like to win that, be sure and keep an eye open for the Fox P G29 Jump Starter Giveaway Contest. It'll be coming in a couple of weeks. It'll actually be on July 25th through August 1st. Look for the rules. Follow them. Win yourself that uh, that Fox Speed. You will absolutely love it. And Cindy Lou at Fox Speed, thank you so much. Fox Speed, thank you very much. Hope y'all have enjoyed this uh, heart review for the heart. It's heart.com for the knee pad. We may do some different heart items here soon. I've got a heart um, edger I've been using. Uh, a couple guys saw it in one of my videos wanted me to review that. I'll probably do that as well. So we appreciate it. Please give us a like. Please share. Please subscribe. And as we always say at Max's Garage Mahal, y'all come back, sis, now, you hear?